up to the balcony. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, as we're all aware, our president has issued quite a few impacting executive orders on immigration. Would you please briefly tell us how you would address the problems that we have and how you would go into the future resolving this problem? Well, first, every single one of those executive orders has to be rolled back. They were lawless at the time, and they are lawless now. But immigration is one of those problems that I think infuriates the American people because it's the classic example of the professional political class doing nothing. I mean, everyone's giving speeches about it now, but here's the truth. Our borders have been insecure for 25 years. San Francisco has been a sanctuary city since 1989. We have 300 of them in this nation. The legal immigration system has been broken for 25 years. So we need to do the basics. We need to quit talking about securing the border and do it. It's not rocket science, ladies and gentlemen. We know what it takes. It takes money. It takes manpower. It takes technology. But a nation that cannot protect, protect its borders cannot protect its sovereignty. We must protect the borders. Second, we must fix the legal immigration system. We have 16 plus separate visa programs today. We are letting people in on legal visas and then they just stay. So half the people who are here illegally came here legally and just never went home. We're handing out thousands of border crossing cards every single day that permit somebody to cross the border for a day, and then we just never check whether they come home. So guess what? A lot of them don't. We don't have an employer verification system that works, so we can't hold employers accountable. All of those things can be fixed, not by a bloated, inept bureaucracy, but none of these things are rocket science. They all have to be fixed. And if we do not do the basics, securing the border, making sure that federal law is followed in sanctuary cities, fixing the legal immigration system, then why should the American people have faith in government to tackle more complicated problems? And in fact, the American people's confidence in government and in their political process is eroding. And that's a dangerous thing for a citizen government. Finally, when we have done those basic things, we have to decide what to do with the people who have come here illegally and stayed here illegally. My own view is this. If you have come here illegally and stayed illegally, you do not get to earn a pathway to citizenship. There must be consequence. There must be consequence for breaking the law, and there must be consequence for following the law. And I know too many people, I know many Hispanics, who have studied hard, who have taken the oath, who have raised their hand and learned our history. And I don't think we can say to them, never mind. So perhaps they can earn a pathway to some sort of legal status. But I believe citizenship is a privilege, and too many people have worked hard for it.